A lot of people will ask me if they should have food sensitivity testing done. And my answer is going to vary from case to case, but in general, I tell people, don't start there. I'm Dr. Patty Barch. I'm a traditional naturopath and owner of Naturally Unbridled Wellness in Onalaska, Wisconsin. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about why I don't recommend food sensitivity tests right out of the gate. Time after time, I've had clients who went off on their own and had food sensitivity testing done, and they come back super frustrated, and I go, let me guess, it's everything that you're eating. They're like, yes! And that's because they have what is known on the streets as leaky gut. It's intestinal permeability. So what happens is there are a wide variety of things that can cause inflammation in the gut. And sometimes it's a food sensitivity, sometimes it's a crappy diet, sometimes it's stress, sometimes it's medication, um, sometimes it's just <laughs> your response to certain things in your life or in your environment. But um, infections and parasites and that sort of thing can cause that as well. So when someone has inflammation in their intestines, um, your intestinal cells are supposed to be like tied up against each other. And when you have inflammation, there's, um, there's always swelling, okay? So there's a little bit of poofiness in the inflammation. And when that happens, the cells that are supposed to be like locked up tight, there gets a little bit of poofiness. So there gets to be a little bit of um, space in between the cells from a cell to cell block. And so what can happen when you have inflammation in the intestines and you get that little bit of a gap between your cells of your intestines is that the food that you're eating, the proteins from the food that you're eating, those little molecules migrate their way out of your intestinal um, lumen and into your body cavity. And when those proteins escape your intestines and get into your body cavity, your body, if your immune system is working appropriately, your body recognizes them as foreign proteins and mounts an immune response against them, makes antibodies against them. So if you have intestinal permeability, um, yeah, your food sensitivity testing is going to be a mess. It's going to show you all kinds of foods that you're eating because those are the proteins that you're exposed to. So those are the ones you're making antibodies against. If you never eat snail, um, you're not going to have antibodies to snail because those proteins didn't escape. But if you eat something amazing like avocado every single day and you get your food sensitivity done and it shows avocado, it's probably because you have intestinal permeability or leaky gut. So there may be a time and a place to do food sensitivity testing, but I don't like for people to start there because it ends up being a waste of money and a lot of stress. What I recommend people start with is if you are having issues, um, work on your gut first, get your gut to a healthy, balanced, functional state, and then if you're still having problems, you can go ahead and do food sensitivity testing. Now, there are certain foods that are just chronically inflammatory. Any processed foods will be that way. Um, certain foods that um, in different forms, they can be inflammatory, like raw dairy is actually healing to the gut, but pasteurized dairy can be inflammatory to the gut. Um, so uh, grains, that are um, conventionally raised grains that can be sprayed with glyphosate or Roundup at harvest. Um, of course, those are inflammatory. Um, so any processed foods for sure, uh, definitely sugar, uh, anything artificial, all sorts of chemicals, that sort of thing. But if you wanted to fix your gut, how could you do that? Well, this is a really easy way to do this. This is called an intestinal support kit, and it comes with this really handy booklet um, that just walks you through um, foods to remove from your diet um, and just gives you some general information about the steps to follow to heal your gut. But in this little kit, there's three products. One of my favorite products, and we um, recommend this a lot, is a product called Intestinal Restore Powder. 
Um, this, I call it, I joke, I call it gut spackle. Its job is to go through your intestines, go through the walls of your intestines and go down the sides and just spackle up all those little gaps um, that are caught, <coughs> excuse me, that are causing those proteins to leak out. Now, if you keep eating at the fast food restaurant and drinking soda and all of those things, you're never gonna fix your gut. You're running up a down escalator. You're putting good stuff in with one hand and bad stuff in with the other hand. So always food matters. But intestinal restore powder, this stuff is phenomenal. Um, I recommend one scoop in a shaker bottle with water once a day on an empty stomach. And the reason you want it to be on an empty stomach is because you want it to go through by itself and speckle up all those gaps in your intestines. Then this is BioPro GI. This is a very specific type of probiotic. So if you're throwing probiotics into a hostile environment, they're just gonna die and you're gonna waste money. This is a special formulation of um, probiotics that is designed to support the body during the intestinal repair process. And then the third product that's in the program is Leaky gut formula. This is a homeopathic remedy um, for leaky gut. And typically it's 10 drops of this three times a day under your tongue or in water. So once you get your gut restored, not only will you stop having general chronic inflammation because of the proteins leaking into your, um, your body cavity and your body mounting an immune response, that immune response can quiet down and then your whole body inflammation should quiet down as well. Then other great things that happen is you actually have these little finger-like projections on the walls of your small intestine that the job of those things is to actually take up those nutrients and put them into the capillaries that are in there and get them into the bloodstream. That's how your body literally accesses the nutrients from your food. Well, if all these little fingers are, are off, they've like broken off or sloughed off because of the inflammation, can't actually access all the nutrition in your food and in your supplements. So those will be growing back with an intestinal restore program. Then if you still have problems, that's when you consider doing food sensitivity testing and find the, the limited number of culprits that might be contributing to your issues. So that's my thoughts for the day. Peace out, peeps. Have a healthy day.